three, two, one all together because I don't know, I just feel like jumping on X and then doing the last three. So yeah, uh, so far I played six, five, four, and so this will be the fourth one of completion. I'm um, gonna sit here for just a sec to hop on and we'll get to business. Okay, so yeah, Metal Slug X. Apparently, X is rated the highest in this series from um, people consider it. Uh, I've loved every one of them so far. It's honestly, five and six have been my favorite. Um, and then we're seeing about three. I've played two, and I've played one, and I already know I love those. So yeah, let's get started. Every time! Why? God, I don't... <laughs> I think they did that shit on purpose. Let's see. Ten to you. Metal Slug! I don't think I'm going to be doing comments on the last one because I don't like how small the video is across, but we'll see. Okay, Shit. Good way to start it, not the best. what everybody's obsession with this one is so they'll figure it out. Okay. Nice. I love when you get up close how you really slap them. So I thought there were only six, but there's actually one Metal Slug game that came out on the, uh, what do you want to call it? On the DS, and then I, um, Metal Slug 7, and then I looked at Metal Slug 8 and something popped up, and I'm not sure if that's correct, I'm actually starting to wonder how many Metal Slug games there are, and I definitely don't know if the DS would look classic by any of these, so. Should say on. Metal 
area. Damn it. Better luck avoiding the uh, shots in this one. Then I get shot. That was freaking cool. So far I like this one a lot better than four. Well not a lot better, I just like the environment. Okay, we have mummies now. It's always something. Aliens, vampires, mummies. Weapons. Uh, so think about older games. The reason why they have that warning about freaking uh, epilepsy because older games were just so flashy sometimes. Don't worry, baby. We just a gun. I'll get rid of this one soon as I can. There we go. It's gone. I'm a zombie now. Thank you for the piece of card, hun. Yeah! Now, so far, I can see what people like this a lot. I'll be going from 32 to 1 after this. Like I said, because I've been playing one game a week. Um, I mean, sorry, one game, one game a day. I just, yeah.
The cartridges that this came with were literally the size, they were bigger than a PS2. I'm not even joking. And heavier. Well, probably about as heavy. Until they came out with the Neo Geo CD, of course. Which, uh, theorists of the system will say, you know, don't bother with the regular one because the low tender is more expensive, but those games are like going to a pop on the CD, you can get them for a normal price of 30 bucks. So I'll take a little bit of loading time. Even if I were rich, I would take the loading time. Well, yeah. Neo Geo is a shit for arcade games. You'll hear Bandai, Namco, and Sega, which are all awesome, but Neo Geo? Yeah. Um, and, and Capcom and them were the kings of the arcade. Neo Geo did, um, was really amazing. I remember they said that arcade cabinet. And they would have like one arcade cabinet with like probably like 10, 16, 15 games. But yeah, you should look up the Neo Geo cartridge. They literally are as big as the PS2. When I was a kid, I didn't even know about it. I knew about all the other weird random systems that we didn't get, but uh, Neo Geo, I knew the, the arcade, but I didn't know about the console forever. This one's more fun than the last one I played, actually. So far, my least favorite is probably 4, the last one I played. It felt, it wasn't bad, it was just uh, in comparison to the other ones, it wasn't as exciting. But I'm also playing these games backwards. But I'm at this point, I can just sit and see it. That's great. Really like it. I love when you're riding a train like this, you're jumping across, it's so much action, it's badass. Well, yeah, and technology like that costs a lot of money, and honestly produce a Neo Geo cartridge again. I'm imagining how heavy they are. Oh, it costs a lot of money. Well, fuck you too. Also, just think about this again. This is an arcade game. Every time you see me continue, that's another quarter I would be putting in the machine as a child. If you want to actually beat one of these games, you need your friends with you. I had a lot of fucking quarters. Although there was always hot shot kids who kicked ass. Um, I kicked ass at Street Fighter. I would have lines of quarters. Like people with quarters on the machine. And I would always be there beating every single person that came ahead of time in the game. I'm crispy. You're crispy. Your mom's crispy. Some of my other friends were trying to tune in, but one of them was at work, the other one was at the gym, and the other one was still trying to find the link. <laughs> I also love the maturity and the blood in the game fact you know, everybody bitched, you know, Super Nintendo, you never got the blood, with stick, Genesis, you did, like Mortal Kombat and stuff like that, but everybody was all worried it was gonna, you know, ruin their children and axe murderers and playing this. Oh, thanks, Jennifer. A lot of people take these kind of graphics like this for granted, and you gotta realize just how amazing the graphics are, the background moving, the parallax scrolling, the fact that how many enemies are on screen. Well, um, back then, a lot of systems would have a hard time running these kind of graphics without major slowdowns. Even games nowadays, a beat them up to your seat sometimes, and they're just slowing down when you get too many enemies on screen. Okay. Ah! 
Good idea. But see, he, that's what I was doing, Jennifer. I was shooting from under. When you do it, it does this. What? See? Instant death when it smashes me. Thank you. Is that, I can't get anywhere near it. That's what I was thinking, though. Motherfucker! Did that shit. Mission complete. Tomorrow I'll be playing Metal Slug 3, and then the next day 2, and then the next day 1, well, unless something happens and I can't, but like I said, I've been playing every single one of these. And the only one I can't play is Metal Slug 7, unless somebody gets it for me for the DS on my phone. But I know they have other things. Don't get me wrong, I want it. I really want to pick up a Sonic Mania and Forces. This is like the year of Sonic for me, so I can get Sonic Mania. I can hold off on buying every game in the world, but I cannot hold off on getting new Sonic games. It's just... No. Like, that's what I want from the anything. We don't even come out till like, uh, June or something? Just not July, September. It looked really cool though. Sonic Mania is like uh, one for one for the Genesis style in Sega CD, and then uh, Sonic Forces is the new 3D Sonic game, and I will always go with Sonic. I remember when I was a kid, the first time I ever played Sonic, like I loved Mario, and then I played Sonic, and I actually traded my Super Nintendo for a Sega Genesis, which my parents got mad about because the Super Nintendo was newer and more expensive, but I. Um, data is going to be to the later anyway, so I kind of lucked out, but I, uh, I played Sonic and I was in a lot of, I couldn't believe how fast you can go to speed, and it just, so many people are haters of Sonic now, and it's ridiculous, so they're like, oh, Sonic sucks, Mario's great, it's like, get over yourself, dude, they're all great, enjoy them. Yeah, I know, right, the background is really cool. I love it, like everything gets destroyed as you're going. It's very neat. SCK was always way ahead of their time. Nope. Back then, they started getting amazing 2D games, and they learned how to do them. And in the 32-bit era, everything went to 3D. Nintendo 64, PlayStation, um, the Saturn had amazing 3D games also, like uh, uh, Aliens again? Uh, like, uh, what's it called? Uh, Panda Dragon Saga and everything, but the Saturn was initially built as a 32-bit 2D game. Uh, gaming system, and you were able to see how amazing they were, but by the time they got re like as amazing as you can get at 2D games, they were switching to 3D, and you know, that you don't have the breakable background for anything. So a lot of times, 2D was going to be So this one has a bit of everything. Mummies, aliens. So I guess it's not just Metal Slug 6. Thank you. It's just exhilarating. This game should be called Boner, the video game. Sonic 06 is probably Rectile Dysfunction video game. This time, speed is working.
trying to hit it with my bombs, but I uh, jumped up really high to do something like that. And I ended up getting hurt in the process. There we go. Mission complete. Okay, I would have to say Battlefront like 8 having I mean, X is definitely awesome. And if I was playing them one in a row, one, two, I haven't played three yet, but I'm thinking this one would have uh, been like, I would have been like, hell yeah, I don't from that one, but this feels as good as uh, any of the other ones, so yeah. And it's weird, no matter what Metal Slug game I play, I would love it. Like, something just, I just played uh, four, and that's it. I'd say it's an amazing game, but I haven't played the other ones, um, yeah. Um, it does less new stuff than any of the other I know, it is. Um, they did try to make a 3D uh, Metal Slug game. I think the SMK is not very good at 3D games a lot of times. I mean, they are some point, but like um, Samurai Showdown and 3D with Terrible and other ones, and they tried to do Metal Slug. I'm not sure, I, I think it's obviously SMK did. It was called Metal Slug Zero Online, and it was fucking terrible, and the 3D models looked terrible, and it wasn't about the graphics, because the game was just not good. I haven't played that one yet, and I really don't plan on that one, although I, I really want to go for the DS. Woo! Keep in mind while I'm playing this, uh, you know, that, you know, normally in the arcade, you've got, you know, you get multiple people lined up playing this game. I think it's just the fourth player. So you get a lot of help, uh, and I'm tired a lot less than having a bunch of people playing with me, but, no. Okay. I have one controller currently, because the other one got locked in the alpha vehicle. Yeah. Yeah, they told us our PS4 controller and me and AJ wanna play co-op and wanna play Resident Evil Revelation 2. We're the fondest gamers, we don't have an extra controller here. Like, oh, you can get to play some of these with me at some point to play that uh, Dynamite Cop. It's like, we want we want to play games together, but we can't. And where'd it go? And they like, I don't know, so I don't, Thank you. I don't have, fortunately, I don't really have a spendable income to get another controller right now. When I do, I need to spend it on food and coffee and, you know, other things that are take priority. But as a gamer and doing the channel, it would be really nice having another controller. I hate, I hate airstrikes too, but you better get ready for them with Trump in office. But I'm fucked. Go order some airstrikes from the golf court. Yeah! me playing a shmup, I could avoid a billion bullets, but that's flying and moving around them, but on a game like this, this running gunner, I cannot for some reason. <laughs> oh, yeah, we heard it. Oh, you mean like the settings of like a, a flight kind of game, invert it? How's Dean doing, by the way? How's my little love muffin? In case y'all are wondering, Dean is my girlfriend's father-in-law, slash my... Oh, I mean, stepfather. And, and he, oh, he's my father-in-law, stepfather, and lover. Really? Well, not the lover. My part. stepfather! Jesus! 
your stepfather, my stepfather-in-law. <laughs> you ever think? And my lover. Hey, you covers your mother. He's badass. That was really good. I'm enjoying that. I would definitely recommend playing this with two people. Okay, we got sewer mutants now. horrific with these fucking mutants. It's like fall out. Now why do these metal set games have all these different themes going on in them like this? And even the six is literally all aliens. But I don't get it. Oh boy. 
I didn't mean to do that. Sorry about that, at least all the other ones weren't flashy except for like the gun maybe. I know one and two aren't flashy at all, I played over the bike. And I don't know what the third one. Apparently this one does. 
I guess it was windy. I don't know, but it was badass looking. I really like that effect. One time. I'm noticing that the final boss is the only one for uh, a bit longer. And the aliens again. but in that one all their blood's purple. Bouncing up and down on these guys. Your deck is brown again. I don't know. Nice. Shoot. Oh, 
Here we go. I should be heading towards the finale right now. It's okay. Thanks for tuning in, yo. We're at the very end anyways, this is the uh, last boss. I do call it firepower. Oh my god, they're actually helping me now. I guess the enemies help you sometimes when there's an alien invasion on the team.
Rocket Launcher. Independence Day reference. Oh my god, that was totally an Independence Day reference. The pilot flies in the middle at the end, and yeah, I should have been realizing this. That's obviously when they decide to start doing alien stuff. And another one, Bison. I think it'd be all these games in about the same amount of time. Right? Seven to fifty five minutes. Nice. Mission complete. So I guess it'll be three, two, and one. I know for a fact I'll be doing three tomorrow night, and then, like I said, I'm, I've been going for doing them each day, but I'm fine to take a break and uh, do some other videos because, uh, well, I'm not, I'm not for sure on that. I just want, I'm getting a trophy earned for clearing every single one of these. Fire. Nope, I am. There we go. TWW, apparently. Okay, so Metal Slug X, I would definitely put up there. It's definitely a really um, fun game, not a competitor than that, not four. So, yeah, it's weird. I've never played all these games for. Like it's for a week in a row, but like I said, I'll be playing them as I'm going, and then after that, you know, I'm gonna be. Um, I was doing so many videos in front of the camera, I decided to do a lot of playthroughs. But I will be going back in front of the camera soon and be doing those videos, um, especially after I finish uh, doing all these games. Um, you, know, you know, I end up doing right before finishing every single one of them, possibly, but I'll see. Um, doing them for a lot of fun. Uh, you guys don't watch these ones as much as some of the other videos I do, especially when I'm in front of the camera. Those videos seem to go up to like 50, 60 right away. They get a little bit longer, but that's okay. Hey, okay. Oh, fuck. I do yes, not. I should. No, I don't. I need to add every one of these videos into my arcade section. That's gonna be, oh god. That's gonna definitely put it up there. The truth of the matter is, in the future, I have a lot of big plans for the channel, a lot of skits and reviews I wanna do, and I would be doing a lot more Dreamcast stuff because, um, you know, ironically, even though I love every single system in the game, Dreamcast is my favorite, and ironically, I don't have as much of as I want to have for it. Um, I decided from the beginning that. I was going to kind of span across everything about the Dreamcast all at once, but... None of it! But I'm out. I'm really good. Yeah, I'm going to be doing a ton. In fact, I'm going to... Uh, I plan on doing a collection video, my favorite game, there's RPGs on it, playthroughs of all the games, like, it's ultimately a huge amount of Dreamcast content. And Sega content. Um, I, I brought a lot of Nintendo content up too. Except for you won't see me doing a ton of Nintendo 64 stuff. Um, there were games like Donkey Kong, 64, Banjo, Kazooie, Conquerors, uh, uh, and stuff like that. That uh, Mario stuff I'll be uh, doing. But uh, yeah, I'm not huge on the 64. Um, I like it. It's just definitely not my favorite. Uh, Lots more SNK stuff to come though, that's for sure. Alrighty guys, well, there's another one that we've completed, I appreciate it, and I will catch you guys on the fly next time. Thank you so much, and talk to